Hello my friends. Well I told you I was going to do a video about sex between flying angels and how I write about it. Well, you know, in the beginning I thought okay let's be as real as possible, you know, try aerodynamics and how it works and then I realized okay an angel can't fly on his back <laughs> and um, that is impossible really to go about it in a, in a realistic way with the laws of nature. Let me put it this way. I mean, angels the way we imagine them don't exist. I don't want to aggravate anybody who believes in angels, but I, I don't think they look the way we think they look, you know, the wings and the stuff. So, and why should they have sex, to be honest? I mean, the reason we have sex is to have children, right? It's fun, but that's nature's reason for us to do this. It's the same thing if vampires, why should a dead body that is not dying and still walking the earth have sex? I mean, it doesn't make much sense that people usually don't have children. Um, so it depends on how you sell it to the reader. You know, if you say, well, my vampire's heart is still beating, He's just like staying young because his cells are just renewing themselves very fast and he just can't die for what reason ever. Then they can have sex, then they can have children. Um, it always depends on how you sell it to the reader. And the same thing goes for flying angels. You know, I took birds and I thought, okay, how do they do it? Well, I don't think they do it flying around. I don't think that. I never really looked it up, but I think they sit on a on a branch or something. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but um, anyway. So I kind of like put reality aside, you know, and thought, okay, just go about it the way you think it works, and if you believe it, the reader will believe it, and that's how it worked. And I think if you write a fantasy novel, that's very different than if you write a real novel, you know, like real love scene between a man and a woman or man and man woman and woman doesn't matter as long as it plays in real life it's much easier to write than if you play a fan if you write a fantasy novel uh, because those kind of beings don't exist you know you have to really make it up and uh, that just like i said you can't use reality very much in there <laughs> because uh, i would love for vampires to exist you know Forever young, never sick, you know, you don't get old, you don't die, um, you can't really get hurt and you have special powers, I don't know, that's nice. Unless you're like Bram Stoker's vampire and you smell like a dead body, you look like a dead body, I don't, I don't like that. So, but anyway, but like I said, you know, you, you have to put reality aside and I did that and it worked. Um, took for me a while to learn that. My first novel took me six months to write because... You know, I had to learn, like, I invented an entire world. So I kind of, like, looked at how does nature create plants, you know? How do they work? How can I translate that into that world so it, it's as real as possible and stays as close to reality as possible? Well, that's very difficult. And like I said, um, sex between angels is really unlikely to happen in real life, so... Just let your fantasy take over and then your reader will believe it. So this is uh, this is it, I guess. What do you think about it? Tell me in the comment section. Um, leave a like if you like. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel and uh, click the notification bell if you like. Come back, watch my videos again. I have so much more videos. I'm always glad to see you and uh, thanks for your support, really and for watching and uh, for being there. Take care of yourself and don't let winter anger you. And be careful.